In this tutorial, I'll show you how to attach text to moving objects in a video using After Effects. This is quite simple, so let's get to it. First thing you'll need is your video, drag it to the timeline and create a composition with it. Then scroll through the timeline and find the frame where you want to start tracking. In this case, I've already put the marker here, so I know that this is the frame that I want to get started with. Then I open the Tracker tab. If you don't see it, you can go to Window and make sure that Tracker is ticked. Then you'll get access to the window. Then right click in the empty space, create a new null object. You can rename it to something like a tracker, I'll leave it as it is. Then double click on the actual video layer to open it in a different tab up here. Then click on the track motion button. And once you do that, you'll see these two rectangles appear. And this is a tracker point that we need to place onto the object that we want to track. In this case, it'll be my fingertip. So let's place the tracker point onto it. Be precise with the placement and then increase the inner rectangle first so it can cover our object entirely. Adjust the position if needed and then increase the outer rectangle as well. So the object that you want to track should be inside of the inner rectangle and the outer rectangle is just to give After Effects more information to work with so you can better adjust the tracker for the next frame. Once you've adjusted the tracker point, click on the Analyze Forward button and After Effects will start tracking your object frame by frame and this will take a while depending on the system. Either way, you'll have to wait until After Effects is done tracking. And once it is, you'll see these tracker points that we need to extract to our null object. And 90% of the time, After Effects will do a great job at tracking. But if it doesn't, you can always go back and adjust the tracker's position. Before you click on Apply, make sure you are applying these to a right layer. Click on the Edit Target and here in the drop-down, select the right frame. So in our case, we only have one null object. And if you have multiple null objects and multiple layers, that might be useful to rename them so you know which one's which. So once you select it, then click on the apply button. You'll see this window appear, click OK to proceed. Now, if we select our null object, you can see the same tracker points on our null object. And if you press U, you'll see a lot of keyframes on the timeline generated by the tracker. Let's now add the text, select the type tool and type the text, anything you want. Then switch back to the selection tool and place your text wherever you want it to be. Make sure you are at the right frame, so that would be the first position keyframe for our null object. Then we need to parent our text to the null object, drag the pick whip in parent and link tab and drop it onto the null one. Then let's start the preview and you'll see that the text will follow our finger throughout our video. But make sure to turn the text layer so it's not visible before our finger is in place. For that, just align the blue playhead with the first keyframe and bring in the start point of the text so it's not visible before the finger is in place. And as you can see, that's the way to do it. And as a matter of fact, this works not just with the text layers, but anything. You could put a logo in here. Let me bring After Effects logo, drop it to the timeline, resize it properly. Hide the text layer, then move the playhead to the first position keyframe and place your logo accordingly. Then make sure to parent the logo to the null one by using the pick whip tool. And as you can see now, After Effects logo will follow our finger accordingly. And as before, bring in the logo start point so it's not visible before the finger is in place. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.